Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Marrick's Koi Pond. Uh, this is going to be the first part of a two part video. Uh, for those of you that watch my channel, I don't know if you remember, I had problems with this Profi feeder. Anyway, I bought a new motor and gearbox, managed to get it up and running. But one problem I've always had with it is when I set it to go off, you know, once every hour, once every two hours, whatever it is, it was always erratic in what time of that hour it would go off. It was never to the second or to the minute even, you know? Uh, and hence, that's why that ugly feeding ring is there. I absolutely hate that feeding ring, but that sacky food is so expensive to keep going down that uh, skimmer. But anyway, since I've put that gearbox and motor in that Profi feeder, I took the battery backup batteries out of the control box. Took the backup batteries out of there so it all went to zero. And when I refitted it, I turned it on like uh, on top of the hour. And now that is going off absolutely perfect. I've got it set to every hour at the moment and that is going off to the second every single hour. So now what I'm thinking of doing, which I've often thought about before, is fitting an air curtain below that skimmer over there uh, to save that food going down the down there and being wasted but I've been thinking about it I was just going to put a meter air curtain just underneath that skimmer but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go the whole width of the pond so underneath the skimmer underneath that shower and I shall put it on a timer so it comes on just be just before that feeder goes off so that ugly feeding ring can go that's the plans anyway Oh, such a beautiful day today. All the aces are out. The cherry trees in full blossom. So every year, absolutely love that tree. Cheers me up no end when that's in blossom. That's a cracking acer as well. Hello Vic, enjoying the sun? Are you enjoying the sun? Oh yeah. Are you enjoying the sun? Well, these aces are definitely enjoying the sunshine. Hello boy, hello boy, this is Victor, a little Bedlington Whippet cross, full of character. Right, I'll just take you in the shed and uh, I'll show you the parts I bought to make this uh, air curtain. But that's what I'm going to do, it's going to sit underneath that shower. Like I say, I was just going to make it a metre long. But you know what, I think I'm going to do it the whole width of that pond.
that is a new Yami I picked up last weekend settled in well mind your own business is coming back to life I lost a lot of that in the winter a lot of it got frosted but it's coming back all the oceans at the back of the pond there look they're all out Right, let me show you these parts I got to make this uh, air curtain. Right, here we are inside the filter house. Uh, that's the uh, diffuser, airline diffuser, that is some sinking airline hose, various connectors, got various speed there that I'm going to put on the air pump just so I can control it a bit better. Oh, there's a new Wi-Fi pump there, I've got to fit that at some stage as well. Uh, stainless steel 316 stainless steel rod to weigh the diffuser pipe down with that's a metre long that is uh, but I'm stuck now because I changed my mind I'm going to go I'm going to go to full width now I've had to order another one of these so that won't be here till next weekend now because of the bank holiday but I think it'll look better now I think thinking about it I think the whole width of that pond will look better than just a metre one stuck underneath the skimmer but I won't go through uh, I won't through I won't go through the ins and outs of making this up if you want to see how it's made I'll tell you what I've done I've copied uh, Dave Dave from Dave's Koi Pond uh, it's his idea I've copied so if you want to go over there and check his channel out actually it's quite an interesting channel he showed you how to make this air curtain, but if you're interested in RO and recyclable RO, a very interesting channel, so pop along and have a look at Dave's Koi Pond channel. Say I send you. I think you'll find some uh, useful videos on there. But like I say, this is part one. Uh, part two will be, hopefully, it's up and running in the pond and the timer is set to come on just before the profi feeder drops its food in the pond so fingers crossed it all works <laughs> I don't see why it shouldn't but anyway uh, thank you for watching like the video if you found it interesting and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and thanks for watching thank you bye see you next time